Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Heli here and I'm so sorry for being missing in action for some time. Honestly speaking, freelancer life plus course creator life has taken me with a lot of overwhelm. So I have not been able to post as much as I would like to. But I got so many messages from you in these past couple of weeks asking when my recommendation video is coming. So I just couldn't hold myself to just shoot this video kind of impromptu so i hope that you like this video in case you're new to my channel this is heli and basically i am the best friend you need i recommend you books movies courses podcasts and basically everything entertainment plus education is there on my channel so in case you want an intellectual friend who is also kind of fun to hang out with you know whose channel to subscribe to click the subscribe button below but yeah Coming to today's video, we'll be starting with the usual books I will recommend, then we'll move on to movies, then courses, and then podcasts. So yes, the first book that I would like to recommend is a fiction book that I've been reading. And this book is called Laughable Loves by Milan Kundera. Milan Kundera is the writer of the wildly popular book, Unbeatable Lightness of Being. And I have not read that book till now, but this is the book that I gave a read. It's kind of a short story collection about romance in its tragic comic sense. And that is what is very unique about this book. The way the stories are written, it's written in a very crisp manner. And you guys know that I love short stories for the same reason. I do think that I have read better authors in the short story genre than Milan Kundera. But uh, he's definitely going to be a recommendation in case you want to read someone who is writing romance in both the humorous and the sad sense. The next book I'll recommend in the book section will be a fiction book and this book is called Six Figure Freelancer by Laura Briggs. In case you don't know what freelancing is, you basically offer skills you already have to clients all over the globe. So it can be writing, social media management, consulting, etc. While there's a lot of options in freelancing, my expertise is in service-based freelancing. So I work specifically for coaches and service providers. And what I love the most about freelancing is that the flexibility we have, we can stop working anytime, we can start working anytime. Of course, it has pros and cons as well. But personally, I love my freelance life. So coming back to this book, I wanted to read this book because I want to scale my freelance business to six figures. Now, of course, I make six figures in Indian rupees, but I want to go to the dollar level of six figures this year. So that's a big goal that I have. So I thought that reading this book can be a huge help. Honestly, I would not recommend this book to an absolute beginner. It is only a recommendation for you if you're already a freelancer and you're making over 20, 30,000 at least per month in Indian rupees. Otherwise, this book is like on a way different level. But I feel like this book has given me a lot of clarity. So if you want to step up your business or freelancing game to the next level, yes, you might read this book. And the last book that I recommend is called 10 Things My Father Never Taught Me by Cyril Wong. I love how Cyril Wong has written this short story collection as well. Okay, both the fiction books were short story collections today. I actually found out Cyril Wong from a short story collection that I had found earlier on Storytel's collection base. And after that, I went on and read this whole collection. It is so impressive, guys. Cyril Wong's writing style is definitely going to impress you and you might read his book in case you're interested in reading about dysfunctional families, LGBTQ community and short stories themselves. I highly recommend this Singaporean writer. Yeah, that brings me to the movies I will recommend. I will start with Tribhanga. Tribhanga was released on Netflix a couple of weeks ago. It was such a great movie, you guys. It talks about three women growing in a patriarchal society with their own struggles it is i i didn't expect to see kajol in a role like this to be honest because she abuses a lot inside this movie and i i've been a kajol fan ever since i was a young girl so it was really shocking for me to see her like that the whole movie plot actually talks about unconventional choices that women make and how much a family matters in supporting them or not supporting them and how that affects them, how society affects women. The thing that I love the most about Tribhanga is how the differences in each of the family members is highlighted so well. It's three generations of women, wildly different from each other, but somewhere they are still connected. And that is the beauty of this movie. Highly, highly recommended. The next 
is kind of a series that I will recommend and it's an anime series called Kakegurui. It's kind of interesting, not that impressive honestly. It's a series about gambling. Gambling is shown as a very addictive thing in this series which I, I am not very impressed by honestly. What I do like is the mind games in Kakegurui. So it was very interesting. I actually stumbled upon this anime from a TikTok trend and Wow, I'm pretty much impressed by the anime series itself. It's not completed yet. Only two seasons have been released, but it was thoroughly enjoyable. So all my otakus, I hope that you're happy that I'm recommending an anime. The last movie that I'll recommend is kind of a mystery thriller called Searching, which was released in 2017. It's a very interesting movie. So there's a girl who kind of goes missing and her father is trying to find her desperately. And everyone he speaks to tells her things, tells him things about his daughter that he has never ever even thought about in his wildest imaginations. And the question that it raises is that how much do parents really know their children? All right. So I love this movie and I absolutely love the plot twist. It is definitely one of the best plot twists I've ever seen. I did not see it coming at all. Absolutely loved it. I don't know why this movie is not more popular, but yes, highly recommended for all you people who love the genre of mystery and thriller. I know that I do. So yes, that's why I decided to recommend this. And yes, with that, we will end the entertainment section and move a little bit towards education because to enjoy life, we need to earn a living. And the best way to earn a living today is to start your own business. Now, in case you are stuck about starting your business, I came across a beautiful series of mini courses from University of Leeds on Future Learn that you can enroll on for free. And I highly recommend you guys to do each and every course available from University of Leeds. The best thing about doing a free course from Future Learn is that the course instructors are so well educated. You probably would not have gotten the chance to learn from all of them in your lifetime. But the digital world has made it so easy to access them and that too for free. Free courses have definitely been the pillar to my online growth. So I highly recommend this to you. This is the only course series I'll recommend today because it's quite a lot of courses you 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 won't have the time to do any other course now the only pro tip i'll give about doing a course online is that actually take steps towards whatever they are teaching you free courses are as good as paid courses but people don't take action when they have not invested money so don't let that be you in case you want to grow your own business or start your own business or you just want to help someone out or you want to become a better resource to the company you are going to work for this course is definitely going to help you the next thing that I am going to talk about is the podcasts I will recommend. So this month I did not listen to a lot of podcasts. However, I did stumble upon quite a couple of great podcasts inclusive of the Copywriting Strategies podcast, an absolutely beautiful podcast that focuses on copywriting strategies that you can use in your business or in your writing skills. So not only is it going to make you have a better business in case you have one, if you want to use copywriting strategies inside the captions you write, if you want to use copywriting strategies inside any sort, any part of your life, I'm pretty sure it's going to help you out. The podcast I really love is the Tim Ferriss show. Today, I will specifically recommend the episode Tim Ferriss did with Ramit Sethi. Absolutely love Ramit Sethi. He is the guy you should listen to for financial advice. So this episode talks about finances, Ramit's experiences about money, how he started his business, which was about uh, being becoming rich. And this is just one of those few guys that I really trust blindly. There's so many people all over the internet who teach you how to become a billionaire, millionaire. But Ramit Sethi is one of the most authentic people that I've ever seen. And he really inspires me to be like him someday. So Ramit Sethi's episode with Tim Ferriss is definitely one worth listen. But Tim Ferriss often has some great speakers on his podcast that I'm pretty sure you're going to love in case you like listening to amazing people on the internet. And yeah, that brings me to the end of today's video with the song section. In today's song section, I'm going to recommend some amazing Indian singers and their songs. So the first one would be Ocean. Ocean is a beautiful song by Anuv Jain. It's it has such a beautiful temperament about it. It is played on the ukulele, so it's 
it has a very cute, sweet vibe to it. It's a song that a lover is singing for his beloved. It has a beautiful vibe to it. It has that song vibe that, you know, you would want to listen to at 70, sitting with the person that you've loved throughout your life. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful song. And I honestly love all of Anuj Jain's songs. The next song I will recommend is none other than Pratik Kuhar's song. And this one is called Cold Mess. Um, honestly, when this song was released and it was all over my feed, I was like, oh my god, what's the hype about? But gosh, I wish I had not listened to it. I've, I've been hooked to this. Every time I'm unable to fall asleep, I listen to this song on repeat, on repeat. I love it. Um, and yes, it makes me really sad to listen, this, listen to this song. And I'm the kind of person who really enjoys listening to sad songs and getting even more depressed. If you can relate to this vibe of mine, please leave a comment below. And yeah, the last song I'll recommend will be Sage by Ritwes. Not for the song itself, but rather for the beautiful music video. Go check it out if you haven't already. It's such an enduring, short and sweet story. And yes, that brings me to the end of today's video. I will be back with another recommendation video next month. Throughout this month, I'm going to try to be more consistent. I know that I've been a little inconsistent, but yes, I'm always trying my best to get back, back on track. So please be here with your girl. After all, I am the best friend you've always needed. So be a little bit patient because I know you also have a best friend who never picks up your calls, just like mine. But anyway, I am going to be back with another video next week. Until then, bye-bye.